2020 has been an exciting year. It's time to let go and embrace 2021. I'm gonna give you the top three things that I learned in 2020 and what I'm grateful for that is going to cast us into even more of an expanded energy, even more higher consciousness as 2021 begins. Now, to be honest with you, in 2020, I've never felt the amount of fear that I've ever felt in my entire life. This pandemic, this coronavirus, this plandemic that has casted the agenda from you know who and the matrix and the power and the greed, I never knew how powerful and how strong the matrix was until 2020. This level of programming and brainwashing is real and I've never seen so many souls right here on planet Earth being stuck in that fear. Now, this has taught me that Every single person is on their own individual path. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter if it's your soulmate, your brother, your sister, it doesn't matter. Everybody is on their own journey. Now, when you feel that level of fear, everybody is gonna have to draw that boundary in their third chakra and say, I have had enough. And that's what 2020 has done. People have waken up, people are waking up so fast and at the same time, there is always a level amount of fear. Now look at that crazy amount of duality that's going on in 2020. This has taught me that the, that is what is necessary for people to wake up. All of that fear, all of that anguish, all of that emotion, all of the Black Lives Matter movement, all of the environmental problems, everything that's been going down in 2020 that people thought was terrible was actually a very good thing. It's actually the most beautiful thing because that is what propelled us into the Great Awakening. Now, do not make the mistake of saying 2020 was bad and getting into this cancel culture. Let's just cancel 2020 and let's just say it was a terrible year and let's make this year the best. No, no, no. See, that's only going to make things even worse. Why? Because you're sweeping the problems under the rug. You're saying these problems are matter. They don't matter to me. Therefore, I'm just going to do something else. That's the biggest mistake on the spiritual path. It's called spiritual bypassing. We are avoiding these mistakes instead of bringing them on front and center and looking at them and saying, how did we create this? Why did we create all of this in 2020? Why did all of these environmental problems, why did we get call, call, called into the political action, into Trump and Biden and all of this drama? Why did this happen? The answer is to wake up. The answer is always the same, to wake up up. Now, when you fully understand those things that propelled you into your awakening, you will embrace them. You will actually give thanks. You will be so grateful for those negative things in your life because that is what allowed you to wake up. If you were still caught in that victim mentality, you would be doing the same things that the old self was doing even six months ago. So start embracing all of this, right? Everything that the universe is throwing at you, no matter how restrictive it is, no matter how against it it is against your belief system this is what's going to allow you to wake up now what is in line with the universe versus what is man made that is the last thing that 2020 has taught me we are completely in the digital age now now before it was like a possibility that we could still spend regular money and still have this old way of life where people were living in tune with nature and growing their own food. All of this is wonderful. Now, as either I'm just a really old guy now or those things are so far lost in our modern paradigm that it shows me where the matrix is moving their energy. They want a completely artificial reality with no nature involved whatsoever and people are accepting that every single day as their truth instead of going deep into their roots and their ancestral traumas and all of those shadow work and doing what they need to do to understand that all of that is just a lie. All of that was being spoon fed to us to the point where you have been forced this meal that is a government food instead of something that comes from nature. So there is a very simple answer that is you have to ask yourself, are you in tune with nature or are you in tune with man? Because man and the matrix wants this particular agenda. They have an outcome expected of you. Now nature is pure unconditional love. No expectations, no give, no take. It just is what it is. This tree right over here, all of these beautiful trees around me are giving me oxygen right now, unconditionally. Would a man-made version of that give you oxygen or give you anything without something in return? 
I don't think so. That's not how the game works. So understand every choice that you make is either in tune with the energy of the matrix or it's in tune with the energy of nature. Really ask yourself this question as you begin 2021 and you're setting your intentions and starting this new earth that we are creating beyond the matrix. Really ask yourself, what are you serving? Are you serving the highest good of all, which is in tune with nature and this beautiful cosmic intelligence? Or are you serving man? and the ego and getting into more greed, more lust, more power, which is an endless rat race, which is keeping you in control. All of us have to go through that until you break the cage, break all of those cycles and fully enter the fifth dimension. That's what this is all about. Now, 2020 and the age of Aquarius is a beautiful thing that we've been waiting for for a very long time. Now, just because we are in the age of Aquarius now doesn't mean that the third dimension completely disappeared. That is the biggest misconception when it comes to the fifth dimension and understanding that we are now in this golden age. So make sure your priorities are straight. If you feel like your energy is being casted out and it's not serving and it's not being reciprocated, really ask your question, what is serving the highest good of all? Ask yourself that question because if it's serving the man, if it's serving the matrix, if it's serving the ego and your old self, you know exactly where that road is going to lead you. It's time to do something different. It's time to go for it. It's time to fully embrace your heart's greatest desires and let go of the attachments from your mind. That's what this great awakening is all about. Now, 2020 was a beautiful year, honestly, and one of the best years of my life. I have a beautiful family that is continuing to grow. I have so many things to be grateful for. This channel, The Infinite Cup, has grown so much. I'm so happy to be here and to talk and communicate with each and every one of you beautiful souls. I'm so happy to invite you to this beautiful tropical place and come to retreats with me in 2021. There are so many things that 2020 has brought me that I am so grateful for that I don't even know what to do about it. All I can do is be in that loving presence and extend all of that energy out to each and every one of you so you can tap into the fifth dimension as well. That's what this is all about. It's time time for the new earth. It's time to say thank you for 2020 and every dark, gritty, nitty little thing that happened in 2020. It's time to love that even more. That way you have no resistance out of all the obstacles that are going to come in this year and the coming years for everybody. I want to give an explicit shout out to the Inner Circle members, everybody on the Patreon page. It is growing so fast. I cannot believe it. I am, did, I wouldn't know what I would, where I would be without you guys. Seriously, I am beyond words right now. I'm just getting caught up in the energy. I love you guys so much. Until next time, infinite love, infinite peace.